Hi, my name is Sabrina. I am a Japanese Culture Club president at Abraham Lincoln High School. I'm also part of the AP Japanese language program. Hi, my name is Connie. I'm a senior taking AP Japanese and I'm one of the co-presidents of the Japanese Culture Club. Hi, my name is Celine. I'm one of the Japanese Culture Club presidents at Abraham Lincoln High School and I'm also the youth ambassador of the San Francisco and Osaka Sister City Association. As a youth ambassador, I had the privilege to go to Osaka and experience the culture firsthand. I learned things such as table manners, how to live like a local, and even Osaka Ben. While there, I had created the idea of the Photo Fusion Project. In this project, students from San Francisco and Osaka high schools worked together to create a single photo where one side of the photo was of San Francisco and the other side was of Osaka. By doing this, we had students communicate with each other to get the photos complete and done. And now, it serves as a symbol of our reunification and bridging together again. Let's connect Osaka and San Francisco together. So every year, Abraham Lincoln High School hosts the BSA, the Brotherhood Sisterhood Assembly. It's supposed to represent the unification that we have at school. Uh, we really treasure that sense of community. So this is a really great opportunity for clubs to showcase any of their talents because they really do represent a a faction of culture that we have at school, since we are so diverse. So for this year's theme, it was We Gon' Be All Right. For the Japanese Culture Club, we had dedicated our dance to the Osaka-San Francisco 60-year relationship. In our dance, we had our main leads represent Osaka and San Francisco. They were lost throughout the entire dance, couldn't find their way back to each other, but in the end, they reconnected and found that they were gonna be all right. This spring break, me and a couple of other students have been chosen to go to Japan through the Kakehashi Project. I think the Kakehashi trip will help develop a better understanding between our two cities because we'll be able to experience the Japanese lifestyle firsthand um, rather than just uh, talking about it. And we'll also be able to share our own cultures with the people in Japan. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a freshman taking Japanese one. Hi, my name is Matthew Holland, and I'm a sophomore in Japanese too. Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm a junior taking Japanese three honors. Hello, my name is Sam Drudy, and I'm a senior at Abraham Lincoln High School, and I've been a part of the Japanese program for four years. What do you think is significant about the San Francisco Osaka relationship? えっと、その両親の友好関係は自分が生まれるもっともっと前からずっと続いてきたものなので、それで人との繋がりはこのグローバル化がスズムゲンダイの中においても本当に大切だと思うので、だから自分たちの代で切らさずに次世代にも続け
to get a deeper look um, to the country's culture. How can we develop understanding between cultures? I believe we can develop cultural understanding by tolerance and by uh, talking with one another, sitting down, getting to know each other, uh, learning about each other's cultures, and by that way we can learn both American culture and Japanese culture is very beautiful, and I believe that alone would be enough. If we send some people over to Japan and they send some people over to America, I feel like then we could learn about their culture directly. みなさんおはようございます。今日はちょっと ペティションをしたりとか、あと大阪の市長に直接ビデオメッセージを送ったりとか、私本当に日本人として先生として で、皆さんの目標大阪と